With Rick Schutt, you're watching WSBT 22 News at 11. Well, spring is slowly easing into our area, but along with it comes brush fires. The firefighters say it's that time of year. WSBT 22 Suzanne Spencer talked with fire officials to help you stay safe. Rick, this is a brush fire that happened right here in St. Joseph County. The fire started over here where there was a fire pit spread all across the field within a matter of minutes. Just today, including this fire, there were only at least four brush fires in St. Joseph County. This isn't wet. This is dead and dried, and that's what's going to help spread the fire. A hotbed for fires. My brother had called me from work and wanted to know. He said somebody had called him and said there was a fire in the field. His field, where they normally fly planes. It's not the first time. Things, you know, things get out of control in a hurry on a windy day. It started in this fire pit in Ed Ward's DNX backyard. Leaves that were on fire blew across the field. I didn't tend the fire like I should have. I walked away and I was doing something else. And by the time I looked back, things were starting to burn out here. Out here on a windy day, conditions are prone to brush fires, according to Clay Fire Marshal Dave Sharone. It's usually especially prevalent this time of year because over the winter, the vegetation has died off. Um, even though people say, well, the ground's still kind of damp. Well, underneath it is, but on top is what's going to burn. In South Bend and Mishawaka, you can't burn brush. In the county, you need a permit and must abide by guidelines. But Sharon says most people that are cited for burning don't even have permits. This is what's going to burn across there, and especially if people still have some leaves laying on the, on the ground, the, the leaves will catch and just blow across your yard into the neighbor's yard. That's what happened with War Zianak. I didn't think about the, the dryness of it all. I figured with the ground as wet as it is from the winter, it'd be all right, but this stuff is really tinder dry. He says he learned his lesson. No more. The fire marshal says you can prevent fires like this and that all of them can be prevented. The biggest thing here, if you live in the county, again, you must get a permit. They're free and last two weeks. The department says they'll give you all the information you need to know, including how big of a fire you can have, what kinds of materials you can burn. All you have to do is head to your local fire department and ask for a burn permit. In the studio, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT 22 News.